and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I am your host, The Talking Ball Club. And today we're going over a piece of gear near and dear to my heart. And everything on the channel is near and dear to my heart. But this one, you know, it's kind of part of the lore of the channel. And that is the Pattern 83 Battle Jacket. Now, this thing goes hard in the paint. Real quick disclaimer, uh, I know there are a lot of you out there that may have more knowledge on the Pattern 83 Battle Jacket more experience, hell, even more time, or even being paid to wear it, you know what I mean, in harm's way. So, if you're one of those guys, feel free to, you know, comment your experience with this piece of gear in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear about it, the nuances of you wearing it, utilizing it, say, in your fighting, or role as a soldier, a mercenary, anything like that. Now, my experience with it, I'm an admirer of it. I never had to wear this in harm's way. I just saw this kit and, you know, it's popularity due to, you say, District 9. You know, it makes an appearance in Blood Diamond. Mad Max is a huge one where you see um, South African gear making an appearance in film. Funny enough, there's even, uh, one of my followers on Instagram showed me this, but there's an orange Pattern 83 in a skit, an SNL skit with Adam Driver, where he's playing undercover boss. We'll, we'll throw a clip in there, but this thing makes its uh, rounds in pop culture. Well, I'm a fan of it due to its use in like the, the South African military roles that it played, right? So it does make an appearance in Blood Diamond. And of course, you know, I saw that doing my research and that's kind of how I became aware of like the South African military and their refined techniques of fighting. And yes, there is the political uh, wagon of drama that comes along with it, but I don't care. You can enjoy military history to some capacity. You can leave politics behind. So you've been you've been uh, told this from me, a guy on the internet that wears a ball club. So I me mean, personally, I think it's a great piece of kit. I think it should be in your uh, arsenal of kit that you have. You know, I'm not like one of those guys that's like, hey, this is the only piece of gear you'll ever need for the rest of your life. Well, it's not. You know, it's a dated piece of equipment, you know, first and foremost, but it still holds up today. It's fun to see the, kind of like the shift in gun culture uh, is I was using this at an airsoft event. And at this airsoft event, it was a really good litmus test to see, a quasi good litmus test, to kind of, you know, fine tune and see how you like your gear, how it plays out, how comfortable is it over time, how it does with weight, um, you know, holding certain things that aren't just magazines, stuff like that, stuff that it culminates to, to a sum, you know, its sums are greater than its parts. So for me, you know, what this piece of kit is to me, it's not one of those like, hey, I'm gonna go kick indoors and be Mr. Raid Mod Master Pants. One thing I appreciate about the Pattern 83 Battle Jack is just how comfy it is to wear, especially over a long duration of time. The dispersion of weight across your body is excellent. Now it is lacking in modern modularity, but if you can work around that and embrace the traditions of old, I think you will be just fine. Now I usually run AR mags. I have the best luck running the AR mags in uh, the Pattern 83 Battle Jacket. Um, the AR mags fit nicely. How I have it configured right now is I have 10 AR mags on that. So what, what's 10 times 30? You know, 300. So on my person, I have 300 rounds of ammunition. That's a pretty good kit. That beats the shit out of those micro rigs. A big downside about the Pattern 83 Battle Jacket is its compatibility with other mags. Mainly, I run this setup with AR mags and I have the best luck in its normal configuration. Of course, you can run AK mags and 308 mags. You will just run into some issues, such as, for me personally on my rig, now I don't know if this is a problem for other people, but on my rig, I ran into the issue with AK mags of not being able to stack in a mag and then close the flap with two mags in there. With one mag, it's doable, and then with 308, weight mags are going to sit in there kind of funky if you cut the divider out of the pattern 83 battle jacket mags i think you'll have more luck with running a fal or g3 style mag in there i know the micro rigs are very purpose driven for what they're designed to do for like low profile undercover work where you're not necessarily going to be like you're like looking at harm's way but you're not going to be in harm's way so you know of course there's gonna be modern load bearing vests out there and they're gonna be more modular they're gonna offer you more options of where you want to set your stuff up so i'd encourage you to check those out i'm not saying or trying to sell you a pattern 83 stuff if anything i would say the time to buy them would have been before they got popular off of pop culture and, and dingus is like me making youtube videos about them because now they're going from anywhere like 250 dollars you know it's like kind of ridiculous for how much they're costing now there's just like this weird price inflation and they're getting bought out everywhere um they are hopefully guys that will start making newer versions of them you know to me this, this is a, just an iconic such a cool looking piece of kit that i thought it deserved its own video i have this existential dread knowing that i'm just so bad at reviewing gear because essentially all i want gear to do is be comfy look cool 
and help me not die. But as long as gear can do that, I'm usually pretty happy with it. Biggest thing, of course, is always looking cool. And the Pattern 83 Battle Jacket definitely succeeds in that regard. It's worth being one of the most aesthetic chest rigs I've ever seen. Uh, it's hard not to love. It's also hard to just not look really cool whenever wearing one. Yet again, though, it's not the best kit out there. It's not a do-all, end-all of kit. I, I don't think that there is a do-all, end-all of kit. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe with a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm god, a god of which who is uh, covered in Nutria Brown and loves Pattern 83 Battle Jackets. I don't know. Uh, if you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit up Patreon, merchandise. All this helps out the channel. As always, stay easy, stay breezy, and we'll catch you boys on the flip.